So spring of 2014, we were hiking in Kansas City, and we just started thinking about, you know, the, the rest of our lives and what we would do adventure-wise. Bucket and list Bucket stuff. list, yeah, yeah, bucket list type items. I just mentioned going all the national parks was on my list. I didn't know how many there were or anything. Spasm geyser. This adventure is going to all 59 national parks in one calendar year. Been on the road for about nine months and right now we're in the Grand Tetons, park number 45. It's really almost like 59 different trips. When you get to each new park, you mm -hmm. have to plan totally new things. You have to look at availability and just so many things go into it. We found out that it's a lot more effective to just plan as we go at this point. Yeah, definitely a lot more planning went into before the trip. This trip was a totally blank canvas, so we were starting everything from scratch, and so we reached out to Garmin, and they've been super generous and just uh, providing us with uh, different pieces of gear that have been awesome. West? Yeah, that sounds good. We started using the Garmin Nuvi, and then we were able to uh, get Try the out. Garmin Drive Assist. We've used both, and yeah. and... We really, that was one thing that we really didn't expect that we would need. You're driving through these amazing, beautiful places. You do not want to worry. You do not want to have the stress of looking up directions. You don't want to have the stress of, do I know where I'm going? I don't know if I'm on the right route. All of those arguments go away. All of the, that stress is just not there. Look at them. They're so cute. I'm really glad that we have our Garmin GPS because when I went on family vacations, the, my parents would always be fighting and it was always over directions. So I feel like at least we'd never fight over directions. I think that alleviates a lot of stress in the yeah, car. Yeah, it'd be For horrible. Sure. <laughs> it's our number one piece of gear that we couldn't do without. One of Elizabeth's big concerns leading up to the trip, I was worried about important things like money and stuff. She was worried about how is everything going to be able to fit in the car. So this is our lovely home, our crib, if you will. Now, of course, the captain's seats right here, uh, our beautiful drive assist, uh, our check drawer up here, our home office in those drawers, our uh, pantry. This is my favorite part, our kitchen, our refrigerator. We've got our winter layers. We've got some of our additional gear like Frisbees and games our supplies like shampoo and conditioner, which unfortunately we don't have to use that often. <laughs> Paddle like you made it. Woo! We started researching it and looking into it, and at first it was like, there's no way this is feasible. There's a reason why people don't do this type of thing. And we knew that if we didn't take this trip, uh, we would regret it. Thank you for knowing people and knowing how people drive and knowing how people hike and knowing how people interact with, with nature and with technology and with their cars um, because I think it's just been perfect. Please drive to highlighted route.